The Chicago Bears are bringing in HBCU All-American defensive end Michael Badeo for a tryout. Hey guys, Swifty here covering everything Chicago Bears. We have some other Bears tidbits and news as Zachary Thomas, my pick for the right guard spot, is working out with famous O-line trainer Duke Manyweather. Also, we found out where Larry Ogunjobi signed, so let's get into it. If you haven't heard of Michael Badeo, he's an intriguing edge rusher from Texas Southern who compares his game to Khalil Mack. He's an athletic, explosive, and aggressive edge rusher who lacks technique. He dominated and was an HBCU All-American. He's 6 foot 3, 260 pounds, and ran a 4-8 40-yard dash. He was not invited to the combine but did get invited to the Legacy. I watched a bit of tape on this guy the last few nights. He's an explosive athlete with nice first step quickness. He has the size and athleticism you look for and is just oozing with potential and has a motor that never stops. He's an aggressive and intense player who needs a lot of work on his technique. He's an intriguing prospect that does offer a bit of upside as a pass rusher in the NFL. He's probably more of a project than an immediate impact player. He has enough upside to warrant a roster spot in the right situation. The Bears could even give him a look at the three technique spot, and that is something I kept in mind while watching tape. We will discuss Badejo more if he signs with the Bears. He has an official tryout scheduled. In other defensive line news, Larry Ogunjobi has signed a one-year deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers had been holding out hope that Larry O could still work out a deal with the Bears, but that dream is now dead. With that being said, I've been eyeing Mario Edwards as a three-tech for a long time, but I haven't gotten to break down his film yet. Add that to the list of breakdowns coming soon. I will be watching tape on Mario Edwards and seeing how he would fit as a three-technique in this defense. I loved the Larry Ogunjobi signing when it was announced. I think he fit perfectly as a three-tech in Fluce's scheme, and I was disappointed when he failed the physical. That being said, Justin Jones isn't a huge drop-off in talent. He isn't quite as explosive as Larry O, but he is a guy who can do the dirty work, and I loved watching him on tape. I'll be going more in-depth on the defensive line position as we get closer to training camp. Lastly, my projected pick to win the right guard spot has been seen working with famed offensive line trainer Duke Manyweather. He has his own O-line draft academy and is well known as an expert and guru. Hearing Zachary Thomas's training with him just gives me more hope that he can be ready to play this season. I liked Thomas's tape a lot, and now with the loss of Dakota Dozier, his emergence may become even more important. The right guard spot has been a source of talk all offseason in Chicago. I have seen more people talk about the right guard spot this year than I hear talk about the quarterback spot in some years. Kind of ridiculous. But it is still a starting spot on this roster that has not been locked up as of yet. Sam Mustafer got reps with the ones in minicamp. I believe Zachary Thomas and even Jatari Carter both will earn time at right guard once training camp gets here. We know that the line will begin to take shape once the pads come on. I will be here breaking it down every step of the way. Look out for my Dominique Robinson breakdown this weekend and be sure to hit that like button. Until next time, guys, bear down.